how you doing? Thought I'd just do uh, another vlog. You know, I know I did one on Friday, I think it was, but I want to keep them a bit more regular. I'm not at uni at the moment, so I can kind of do a couple, maybe three every week. I could try and do one every day, who knows. Yeah, it is Monday, the 21st of November, my mother's birthday. Forgot that it was your birthday, but that's, so I'm sorry. But happy birthday, Mum. Uh, please forgive me. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just wanted to kind of do a vlog that was about a actual games that I was making because I never I haven't I've done like three now and I've just been crapping on about news and shit, which you can get that anyway, you know what I mean? And there's more there's smarter people out there than me who will tell you about that stuff. Um but yeah, I don't know, I mean I I've been working on a few different things. Um got this game called Desert Child that I've been working on. I'll show you some of the things from that now, actually. So I made this little guy. I rotoscoped him. I used uh, Paint of Persia, which is a really cool little, um, like, rotoscoping pixel art tool. And I've just been working on this today, just a little thing. Looks a bit like a VCR, I might hear you say. That's because I've been doing it. Uh, there. <laughs> I'm really into these old, like, 90s VCRs at the moment. But this this bad boy, that's meant to be, like, a kind of, like, a hologram projector thing. It's for the shot in, uh, in the game. But, yeah, I'm kind of copying that pretty closely. It was, like, these old top loaders that I really liked. Just, I never had, like, I had a VCR growing up, I guess, but, like, just these ones with like the top where you put it in that just seems so like cool and sci-fi to me like yeah like stuff like that where it's just like the design of it is so bad you know it's this idea of of like I guess like back then it was almost like what they thought I oh, actually I think that's a VCR uh, no, I mean uh, tape no that's a VCR yeah so like I look at that I'm like I would have no idea how to how to operate something like that, but they they thought that was a good idea, you know what I mean? Like, you look at how much time probably goes into, like, developing the UI on things like, you know, Netflix, you know, like, which is, like, the equivalent today, which is what we use, and you just, like, it almost seems like they just didn't give a shit back then. Or, or they were, like, just trying to make it seem like a really cool expensive piece of technology like if it was too simple then people wouldn't think it was worth the money or something i don't know but i really love the idea that like look at that it's like something from a fucking space station isn't it so yeah just working on those at the moment um i'm just trying to do something a little bit sort of flashy and graphically impressive because i haven't done at just for screenshot saturday on twitter i've been pretty lazy lately <laughs> Um, and it kind of shows, like, I mean, no one else is paying attention, just me, but I'm like, oh, shit, you know, not getting as many retweets on things anymore, which is a stupid thing to get upset about, but you'd still do. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know, I mean, I, I also kind of am a little bit wary of jumping straight into doing another big project again, like a big game that takes, like, a year or more to make, just because World's Fastest Pizza took so long to make but was sort of like most of it was made really quickly and it was kind of done and then it was actually just like doing all this polish stuff and that's what takes a long time not you know and like I really enjoy doing that that's probably my favorite part of a game is like doing all these little polishy like bits and like you know making it feel really nice and, and look flashy and smooth and stuff but the problem with it is that you can't just like do it once and be like, okay, it's done, that'll do. Like that'll do doesn't doesn't happen. That doesn't really apply to doing polish. You've got to do like like ten iterations of something before like you like know which is the best one. That's sort of the idea of it, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've got three months off uni, so I'm I'm kind of thinking I should probably just do a big game, at, or, or at least like a three-month game, which 
I mean, you can do a pretty good game in like three months, you know. Um, whether or not like Desert Child is a three month game, I don't know. All that rotoscoping stuff actually takes a long time. You know, like I think I started doing it thinking like, oh, like rotoscoping, you know, you basically just like film someone doing it and then you just trace over the top of it. How easy is that? You know, it's, you don't have to worry about all this animation stuff. It's really time consuming and it's a little bit dull as well because you, it, it feels a little less creative because you're uh, just tracing over the top of something. So like when you finish it and you, sh- like when you show it to someone, I feel like people are less impressed by something that you've rotoscoped or will not feel like I like, I know that I've shown it to people and people are like, oh yeah, but you just traced over the top of something. So you know, how hard was that? And you're like, fuck off. It is really hard. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, another thing, I put a whole bunch of my old back catalog, back, back catalog on, uh, my new itch.io page. So I had all my old stuff on Game Jolt and now it's on itch.io. I think it's itch.io slash mang or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I just wanted to put some of like the really good stuff that, I've done and put on game jolt that hasn't gotten many much attention or whatever, just cause I feel like my itch page is doing better, you know, and I'm kind of like directing and I'm putting everything up on that now. So yeah, I just put a few of the new ones up there. I got this one that, uh, it's been doing pretty well actually. I think it, it got a bit of, um, like a bunch of my friends were sharing it. So that was, that was kind of cool. If you don't get that, it's I used to eat smashed avocado. There was Bernard Salt, I think his name is. He's he's like a commentator, journalist guy, and he he said um, he wrote this big article saying that the problem was that all these hipster young millennials were just spending all their money eating smashed avocado, and that's why they couldn't afford houses. And of course, that's ridiculous. So I made this game, and it's like you need to get seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You need to save that by smashing all these avocados and not eating them, and I think the highest score that I've ever seen someone get was like a thousand dollars, which kind of roughly makes sense. If you say if you didn't eat smashed avocado for like ten years, you get a thousand dollars, which isn't quite enough for a deposit on a house. But other than all that, I've just been playing a whole bunch of games, really. Um, well, I've been playing The Witcher Three. Finally, I got given that for my birthday, like months ago, and I played like. I think I played up to the Griffin fight and I was like, fuck, I'm pretty far into the game. And then uni happened and then I realized that's basically the tutorial. <laughs> so yeah, I've been playing that and that's that game is great. It's just so good. There's a little, there's a few rough edges, but it's a pretty good game. But everyone knew that and has known that for like a year because I'm so late to the party. Um, I want to check out a few new games that are coming out. I'm kind of... The Pokemon just came out a couple of days ago and I went to the store. I don't have a 3DS. I never bought one. I went to the store to get one at Cash Converts, which is like a pawn shop um, in Australia. And I'd seen on their site they had for like $80. And I was like, I can do that. I can do $80 and then I can get the $60 game. And that's cool. That's I, I don't mind spending that much because I'll probably buy a few other DS games. And I went there and they were like, oh no, it's like nearly Christmas. So they just put the price up to 135 and I was like, uh, 135, that, it's going to end up costing me. I don't think it had a charger either. So I'm like, it's going to end up costing me like $200. Is Pokemon worth $200? Probably not. Um, sort of regretting that decision now because I really want to play it and people keep tweeting about it, but I'm going to stick to that and buy some new shoes instead. That's something I actually need is some new shoes. <laughs> Fucking old shoes from bought those in Japan like 18 months ago. Um, but yeah, I want to play uh, Titanfall 2 as well. Um, not a shooter guy, but I don't know, something about giant robots. I'm not really an anime fan either, but it's like those two things. It's like this very anime kind of concept done in a super Call of Duty Western way. And I don't like either of those things normally, but I think t- something about Titanfall is like, I'm really, really into it. Um, apparently it's got some really cool kind of game feel stuff as well with like the reticles bobbing around and just little details and things that I really get off on. Um, I actually, pro- <laughs> yeah, I was like watching and I was like, fuck, I really want to play that game. And then I 
prototype, this little like first person uh, mech kind of movement thing in Game Maker, and I'm kind of like then I like wrote this little design doc for like my own little mech game, and it. <laughs> It's kind of stupid. I, I want to make it though, and I want to set it in the same universe as Desert Child, and it's just going to be a walking simulator. But you're in a mech, and you've got like guns, and you can like jump and do all these like crazy like dash maneuvers and stuff. And there's like no combat. <laughs> that would be really funny. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to keep this going for too long. So yeah, uh, I didn't do an album of the week the last like couple of blogs or whatever. I've been listening to, a, to well, just one song. Apache by the Incredible Bongo Band. Amazing Bongo Band. Incredible Bongo Band? Amazing. Where is it? Apache. Incredible Bongo Band. Here we go. I don't know. I won't play it. I'll get YouTube copyrighted. Yeah, uh, really cool. It's like used in all the. Um, like it just sampled by fucking thousands of DJs the world over, but uh, it's really cool. Uh, I actually want to cut like a little trailer together for uh, Desert Child using that song. Um, I kind of want to test out. I might upload just that song and see if I get away with it with YouTube's copyright. Because some songs you can kind of get away with, I think, and others not so much. But yeah, well, I'll leave it at that. I hope you're having a wonderful time wherever you are, whenever you are. Happy birthday, Mum. Sorry again. And uh, take it easy.